hello again or for the first time this is the system sound that looks like that It has, um, yeah, I'm going to explain it now. So there is um, 10 different knobs on it. Uh, I like to think of them as in three rows. So the first row is the level row, or the gain row. Um, the levels for the four different inputs. So from the left we have the microphone, which I believe should be picking up the yeah. feedback as intended and also my voice talking into the microphone. Yeah, it um, has uh, a lot of gain, maybe too much, so actually this value might be changed before I send out any kits or finished system sounds. But yeah, microphone, it's there. The second is the first of the two inputs, called one, in one, it says there in a tiny script. And then we have in two. Um, also have quite a lot of gain so mic in one in two and then input four is uh, well not an input but it's one of the four sources and it's the oscillator yeah I'm cheating skipping rows but it's the sine wave but you can clip it so And it also does noise, which we'll get into later. So, um, microphone in one, in two, oscillator. And then input one doesn't have anything uh, plugged in. So there is a normalized feedback path so that the mix, um, or well, I'll get to that later, but uh, you can do no input mixing without without uh, plugging stuff in. And it's quite an angry no input mixer. And the second row is the frequency row. So from the left is the tilt EQ. Which right now it doesn't like sound like an EQ, but it sounds like uh, it changes the pitch because it changes the feedback. But if we do this, okay, even more feedback. So a t active tilt EQ, which has quite a lot of gain and boost, and is well, at least it's supposed to be. It seems to be pretty flat um, when it's straight up. And the second tilt equalizer is the same kind, but with different capacitors, so a diff slightly different frequency uh, for the tilt.
timing. Um, and the EQ, of course, also works on the... I, I didn't explain that. This is... Sort of a meandering video, but... Uh, this tilt works on these two channels, on the microphone and input one. And this tilt works on this uh, input two and the oscillator. So, yeah. Doesn't do anything. And then the last uh, frequency knob is the frequency for the oscillator. So this is... Uh, Digital noise also has a frequency. That together with the EQ you can get quite a lot of different timbres. And it also works on the sine wave of course. Last row is um, the output row, sort of. Um, so from the left is the send level. This is the send output, not currently used. This only affects the volume going to the send level. It doesn't affect the normalized feedback. So the normalized feedback is always at the same level regardless of this. It's before this, um, and the second. Yeah, before this knob, the feedback path is taken. Um, and this second, uh, the next knob is the send blend, which decides which channels are sent to the send and also to the normalized feedback. So, and it doesn't isolate completely, but mostly. Uh, um, so that if there were a send here, I could send just the microphone, if I turn it like this, or just this, but, uh, but not just, but almost just, and the uh, I hope you can hear what I'm saying when I'm playing noise at the same time. Yeah, so, left is those two channels. Right is those two channels, and the middle is all of them, and like there's always some bleed. And the last is the master volume, which affects the sound volume of the sound coming out through through the speaker connectors. I don't want to twiddle it too much because I've got the levels right, but that affects this. Uh, it does not affect the line out. The line out is just the sum of these four through the EQs. No effect from these on the line output. That's for sending to a desk like here or for recording or well, whatever you like. But it's um, it's like a always on output. But um, just if you turn something up here, it's always coming out the line and uh, regardless, like, you can have this as a monitor for yourself and then bring up the speaker volume so that everyone else can hear it or use the send to send to, like, a PA and use this for a headphone amplifier or you can actually plug headphones in there. Um, yeah. Stuff like that. So that's the knobs and the yeah the jacks are input one, input two, line out and send out. 
Also a note on the send. The send is out of phase of the inputs and the normalized feedback is in phase. So, if I were to Do feedback like this. Can demonstrate the send level, which is turned down now. So uh, no feedback because the send is all the way down. Turn it up. Yeah, also nothing because it's out of phase. So seems useless, doesn't it? Well, it's not because you can mix it with other sounds. For instance, more dictaphone stuff. So, like, if we do only, only down input. <laughs> Having the out of phase input, it changes things up quite a lot. So. Mic in one, in two, oscillator. Tilt one, tilt two, or EQ, two. Frequency knob. Send level, send blend, amp level for the amplifier output. Uh, in one, in two, send output, line output, speaker outputs, which, by the way, work just like that. Secret. Funky. Good, solid. Pretty solid connectors. Um, so switches. This one I've used seen. That's the power switch. It says power there. And this is the sign or noise. Switch. Up is noise, as in turning the fader up. Um, and this one you've been eyeing probably if, if you're that kind of person. This is the frequency modulation switch FM which takes this signal, whatever is coming in or coming into the feedback and sends it to the frequency input of the oscillator which gives a kind of a it's kind of a dirty FM because it's well it's exponential and it's it doesn't work at the far ends because it's just summing this signal with the DC voltage coming off this but that doesn't matter it sounds good it sounds like
How about I turn it on? You can also use the feedback routing. So now this uh, sound blend is set to those two. There is the oscillator is basically not going into the feedback, but the feedback when I unplug this is coming in here and going to the frequency modulation. There you can hear the difference between the sending itself to its input, which sounds like that, or sending nothing, which sounds like for some reason that's kind of weird. Okay, when you turn this up all the way, it's still... That's kind of neat. I didn't know that. You can also use the... So there's some sort of bug or something. When you have this all the way up... You can... Wow, oh, that's super... stable now and then I turn the sound blend to these two channels and then turn it back it sort of freaks out So yeah, the FM sounds good. Yeah, that's the FM switch. And uh, that's the system sound. All the functions, and as you can hear and see, you can get some pretty complex stuff with just this and a speaker. But so yeah, that's like just it, and it's just a tiny bit of input from the dictaphone, and uh, yeah, I'm very pleased.